So I want to show you guys how to make some old lady's apple crisp. It's easy to make. So we're going to begin with our apples. You can use any type of apple for this. Um, if you want to know exactly what type of apple I'm using, I'm using Macintosh apples. I sliced them, removed the cores and all of that. So I have here some light brown sugar. If you need to know how to make brown sugar, check the description box because I made my own brown sugar. And I'm going to also add a splash of vanilla extract. Vanilla gives this really good flavor. So I'm just going to toss everything together. Okay, I'm going to set this aside while we make the crumble topping, which is super easy. Flour. I have some frozen butter that I've already began to sort of cut. We're going to break it apart. Also, we're going to add to this some brown sugar. I'm going to use my pastry blender here. We're just going to sort of crumble that all together. If you don't have a pastry blender, you can use two knives, you can use a fork, you can use your fingers to break them apart. So the butter is about pea size. I'm just going to go through and run everything between my fingers just to kind of make sure everything's broken apart completely. So the butter is just sort of evenly distributed through all of this flour and brown sugar. So I'm going to add to this my um, old-fashioned oatmeal. These are old-fashioned whole, old whole grain oats. And just sort of run your fingers through it to kind of combine all together. And once you have it all combined together, we're just going to throw this together. I have a baking dish here that I'm going to spray. A baking spray. You can use butter on the bottom if you want, but this already has a lot of butter in it, so I'm just going to spray it. Okay. Then you just pour your apples on the bottom of your 8x8 baking dish here. And I'm just going to use my hands to just sprinkle all that over this crumble topping. My oven's preheated at 400 degree Fahrenheit and I'm going to just bake this in a preheated 400 degree Fahrenheit oven until the top is golden and bubbly and it'll take about 45 minutes to an hour. But before I do I'm going to just sprinkle a little bit more cinnamon on top and just use my fingers to sort of Get a light mix. So into the oven it goes. I just pulled this out of the oven. It's been 45 minutes and look how beautiful bubbly brown that is. Oh my God, it smells so good. So I'm gonna let this cool a bit before I serve it. So here is our apple crisp. I put some homemade whipped cream on top and it's beautiful golden brown let's give this a taste I can't wait to dig in and you know the crumble part is the best part of this so here we go Here's. Mm. my goodness this apple crisp is so good absolutely delicious Please add this video to your playlist. Leave a comment down below. If you have recipe requests, please let me know down below. I've been filming a lot of requests, so please be patient with me because I upload videos three times a week. Um, add this video to your playlist and share. Please remember to live and be well. Let's come together as one and love each other. Thank you so much for watching.